Welcome back to Detroit Wants to Know. We're in the historical Grandmont subdivision. It's a hidden subdivision south of Grand River. It's amazing housing stock. You should travel over here, find it, and look at it. Beautiful housing stock. We're at Edison Elementary School this time, and my guest is Principal Davenport. Principal yes, Davenport. Thank you. Welcome to Detroit Wants to yes, Know. Yes, sir. Thank you. Principal, what goes on in this amazing elementary school of yours? Okay. All right, Edison Elementary School was definitely an amazing uh, elementary school. We have some very dedicated uh, teaching staff, support staff. Uh, we have the art road, uh, art program. Um, we have uh, the successful all reading program. And uh, more importantly, uh, we just have a, a team effort when it comes to making sure that our students' individual needs are met. So they're meeting their individual needs. What does that entail? Okay, well, you know, we know now that, that society's changing, education is changing, and there's no cookie cutter approach to um, educating children. Uh, so we have a staff that collaborates together that's constantly finding new ways uh, to reach our students. So um, on a daily basis, um, some students are working in small groups, some students are working in, in larger groups, and then we also have outside consultants that come in to give even more of an individualized uh, lessons or, or individualized um, um, instruction for our students. Is this a STEM, STEAM school? Uh, we do have a STEAM after school tutoring program. Unfortunately, it's not for each and every student. There's a limited amount of students who can participate, but it's part of our after school tutoring program. Okay. Tell me about a typical school day okay. for a child here. Okay. Typical school day. Um, I, I pride myself on being a principal that's very active and involved. Uh, so between myself or the uh, assistant principal, where on an elementary school level in DPS is called an AEA, so this academic engagement administrator. Uh, every parent can uh, be guaranteed that they will greet one of us out in front of the building to uh, meet the buses to make sure that the students are secure outside on Grand River, which is a major street. Uh, then once the school day starts, um, the students come in, they have breakfast. Uh, we start with our SFA reading program, uh, which usually is 90 minutes. Um, after that, you know, the students have lunch, uh, they have gym, they have um, the art road program. Uh, there's various activities throughout the day, you know, but more importantly, just solid instruction uh, with the core subjects. Okay, we're in the back of the school. You mentioned the school actually fronts on Grand River mm -hmm. in the 17,000 block. We decided to do it out back because Grand River is just Grand River right. bustling. Yes, we sir. couldn't park, we get tickets. Yes, sir. If somebody's coming to visit you mm -hmm. and they're coming down Grand River, how do they actually get to the school? Oh, wow. Now, that, that is a challenge, and that has been a challenge because unfortunately, there is no parking for our parents or for our guests. There's only one staff parking lot, and as you can imagine, uh, with, a full, uh, with a school full of uh, uh, teachers and the support staff, you know, that gets pretty full quickly. Uh, so unfortunately, you either have to um, pay as close attention to the signs and park along the street uh, where um, you're able to park, and then also there's a, a parking lot across the street uh, that you can use, because um, unfortunately, that building and that, that business no longer exists. So they can come in off of Long Acre too, right? Can they come in on Long Acre? They can come in off Long Acre, Acre, but there's no parking off Long Acre. So that would actually complicate the situation. Okay. So it's hard to get to, but it's once you get to it. Once you get to it's it, it's a beautiful we, school. And we, and we try to make sure that uh, we're doing everything we can for our children. And uh, you know, this is my third year here as principal, and we will continue to grow and continue to develop uh, to make sure that we are one of the premier schools in, in Detroit public schools, as well as the city of Detroit. And we have work to go, and we have a ways to go, but it is my goal to make sure that every single day we're getting better. Okay, well, we're in the back of your school now. This is a lovely play area, lovely play area. You share this with the Grandmont yes, sir. Um, community group. Yes, sir. Okay, this is beautiful. Um, lovely pine trees, right, everything right. around here. It's a right. great atmosphere for children and it's safe and it's clean. Yes, sir. I yes, love sir. it. And we also have the basketball court. So if we want to go LeBron versus uh, Stephen Curry, we can go ahead and, oh. and, and give the people a little something extra. You heard the term white men can't jump? Yes, sir. Fat high yellow men can't <laughs> jump either. Principal Davenport, yes. thank you for your time. I appreciate it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just a snapshot of two DPS schools, Ludington and Edison, both amazing in their own right, both in great safe settings with great principals. Bunk what you've read in the media about the principles going down. Oh, 12 principles going down. I just showed you two great ones, two great male principles. We'll be back with you next week.
Shook in her.